Hello everybody, my name is Bodens and welcome to a FIFA 13 squad builder. Now before we get into the video, I just want to say that if you was here before FIFA 12 and you have been subscribed for a little time, you will know that I did a singer squad series um, where I basically sung through a song like, for instance, Payphone and I would change the words with players. Now that is going to be returning, but basically I'm going to be doing squad builders alongside with that. So every time I think I have a special squad, a brilliant, insane squad, I will sing that squad. Um, but the or mainly the expensive ones, but these um, cheap squad builders and nice ones, you know, the ones that help you win and stuff, these will be um, just normal squad builders, no singing involved in them. And that is what this one is going to be. So welcome to my first ever proper squad builder um, without singing or anything unusual in it. And the formation we are choosing is 4-5-1. And you're just going to have to ignore the bench because they're just random players I've slung on there. Um, but Anita and Cleverly can be sometimes placed in the squad if you need be. Um, well, basically, it's a cheap BPL squad that I have built. It cost me around 15,000 coins, maybe a little bit over that. And, of course, in a, a week or something, it'll be, like, probably 10k. And it is a brilliant squad. I mean, ultimate team this year, you can pretty much win with any gold squad. And that is why this one is simply brilliant. We're going to start at the back um, with Al Habzi in goal. Now, this is a brilliant goal. He does some brilliant saves. I cannot... Look at that. 450 coins he cost me. He's made brilliant saves. There's nothing wrong with him at, whatsoever. Of course, all goalkeepers make mistakes on all my team now. So, I mean, I think almost any goalkeeper can suit. But this one, 450 coins. I'll have the suits perfectly for the team. Very quick um, reactions. As you can see, his stats. 83 diving, 74 handling, 70 kicking, 83 reflexes, which is what he does brilliantly. And 76 position, so he will just be there. Speed isn't the best, but, you know, 79 goalkeeper is always going to be the same. And the two centre backs are, I mean, the defence of this team is brilliant. And um, we're going to have Heitinger and Figueroa. And these two people are so good. You, you should pick them up so cheap and they're so good. 79 rated Heitinger, bought for 650 coins. 5'11, so he's not short, he can get headers, etc. He's got 74 pace, 79 defending, 74 passing as well, and 77 heading, so. His stats don't look brilliant, but he wins headers, he defends brilliantly, um, and he plays Reverton, so, you know, you can't lose out on anything. And Figueroa, again, pretty similar. 78 pace, he's blitzing past them. <laughs> um, pacey people cannot really do damage against this team. 70 passing and 76 defending and 74 heading, so two centre-backs, good at heading, and I believe Figueroa's height is the same as heighting, as which it is, 5'11". Um, so tall, not necessarily hugely tall, but fast tall headers and voice break there as well. <laughs> but we're going to go to our fullbacks now, and these are simply just normal, to be honest. Um, they're fine for the job, and they don't really... Um, Nothing crazy. You got Aso Akoto and Jose Boswinga or Bossingua, I think it is. And but QPR and that Spurs for Aso Akoto. Aso Akoto, I would um, say, is probably the better one. He stays in position more. 79 pace, 77 passing, 73 dribbling, 78 defending, 66 heading is not bothered at all. Um, I don't really care about that, but he's fine. Um, but Jose does go out of position a little bit more, but he's got 80 pace, 77 passing, 76 dribbling, 70, 73 defending, and 67 heading. A little bit better than Aso Okoto, um, stat-wise, in my opinion, but um, he does go about out of position, like I said, a little bit more. Sometimes you find him at strike, and you're like, whoa, what, why is he there? Um, it does leave your defence a little bit open, but, of course, your centre-backs just do you with the pace. So, well, the defence, you would think, all non-rare, well, it's not going to be the best, but seriously, it is brilliant. There is nothing wrong with it. We'll go to the midfield now, and at CM, I think you may all know who it is, but if you don't know who he is, he is Diaby, the mother, the best player in this team. He is unbelievable. If you do not know who this player is, I think I'm going to do a review on him, if no one else has, but honestly, you just look at his stats, and they are fantastic. Look at these stats. He's a 76 rated non-rate gold. 79 pace, 73 shooting, 72 passing, 82 dribbling, 74 defending, and 75 heading. This player is beyond the best player ever in this team. I, he's, best, he's the best player I've used on the on Ultimate Team right now. He is brilliant. He is everywhere, and his stamina does not go down that much for considering he is everywhere. Sometimes I my striker and Diaby get mixed up, and I'm like, oh, let's just shoot, and it's Diaby scoring. It's so strange, and sometimes you have a five with the back formation because he gets back fast. Um, he is six foot two as well, so of course if he if you play Ultra D, he will slip back a little bit and sit in between your two centre backs, and with his height as well, all the all the over top of the ball, you can just literally head her out with him, and it is simply brilliant. Um, his stats, as you know, are brilliant, and 
crazy, crazy player, and you need to try him out if you do not know who he is. But we'll go to the left mid now, and the left mid is actually a Hoylet. I picked him up for around um, 2,500 coins, which is my most expensive player so far, but he is... Um, Really fast, very fast to be honest. He blitzes past people. People, sorry. Um, it's 91 pace, 72 shooting, 70 passing, and 80 dribbling. Um, his dribbling and his pace are his main stats, of course, and he is brilliant. He can just run past people. Um, his positioning, sometimes you will find him near the cams and the CMs. I don't really get his positioning wise. Um, he's very small, of course, 5'8. Not hugely small, but enough small to make him not the best at heading and stuff. Um, but he does get in the box, he does move around a lot. He's his stamina isn't the best, but of course he's Canadian, QPR and fast, which is what you want on your um, right mids and left mids. And the right mid, of course, is Pablo Hernandez. Now, a lot, a lot of people know about him, but the people that do like him, I am telling you this now, he gets put up, he gets a lot put up on the market for low prices because no one knows how good he is. But he's actually a four-star skiller, 83 pace, 74 shooting, 70 passing, 83 dribbling. Those stats are very good for a 76 rate player, just like the RB. I mean, you look at them, 83 pace and 83 dribbling, a, a lot higher than his um, average stats, so that is brilliant. Um, Four-star skills, he can shoot usually with both feet because um, he does have three-star weak foot, but for some reason, I think that's more around four and a half, to be honest. I do think that. Um, I do enjoy him. Um, playing with him and the two cams we are going to move on to now. Now these are the ones that I've changed around a little bit. Um, but the first one is Tarat who I put on the right side and the second one is Marin who I put on the left side. Marin um, is brilliant. I'm going to say this now. His dribbling is insane. 86 dribbling which is Phenomenal! It works so brilliantly. Yeah, as soon as I tried him, I didn't realize he had such good dribbling stat. In my first game, I was dribbling around people so easy. He, the ball sticks to his feet. It's fantastic with him, um, and he is only five seven. So of course, shorter player, it's easier even to keep it, keep the ball to his feet. Um, his shooting isn't the best, but his passing is brilliant, and his pace is just fine for what you need him to do. Dribble around players, pass the ball to your strikers and other, anyone else attacking. Now the second one is Tarat, and you should all know who he is to be honest. I love having players in the team that I can do anything with, and Tarat is that person. Five star weak foot, five star skills, brilliant, simply brilliant. Five eleven as well, so he can even cross the ball in, and he will sometimes header the goal in. Even though he's got 55 heading, he sometimes does score header and goals. He's got 81 pace, 76 shooting, 70 passing, 85 dribbling. His stats aren't the best, and it kind of does show on his card. But it's just having that player that can do anything, and it is a phenomenal addition to a team like this um, for so cheap as well. Now this that last player is the most expensive player. Welbeck up front. Welbeck is a strange player. He His pace says 85, which is, I would think, about right, but his acceleration is extremely slow. I It frustrates me that it is this slow, but once he is at top speed, it is brilliant to use him for pace. Um, so 85 pace. He's got 76 shooting, which is definitely underrated. I would, I would put it at uh, a high 80s, I think, because he, I can shoot with both feet and it always goes in. You'll see in the goals at the end how good the goals are or how many he does score with both feet. Um, the second stat is probably 78 dribbling. He's got 79 heading, 68 passing, so of course, bit of a target man. Um, you can cross the ball in, he'll head at the ball, you can pass it, and he will just do everything with it. So overall, that is the team, and let's go into the goals. Okay, so let's move on to the goals, like I did say, and these are the goals I have, must have recorded about 100 times now, but I'm just keep on saying the same thing over and over again, that this team is brilliant. Every player is not a, not a letdown at all. They are just Simply brilliant, and this hat trick here by Welbeck um, is in just nine minutes of the game, and it's is in Division Two. I was in Division Two for all these games, um, attempting to get in Division One, which I actually succeeded in. If you was in the stream, hello. Um, these are the goals from the stream and the squad that we was using. And basically, Division One is a lot more difficult now, but Division Two was pretty easy compared to the divisions. If I'm honest, don't know why there was easier. Maybe it was the time I was playing or something similar to that. But like I said, Marin, as you can see, the dribbling there and the pace, perfect for him. He actually does a Berber spin, and I wanted to do a little cheeky flick there, but it worked, it worked out differently. And Tarat tucked it away for me. And as you said, Tarat, both um, five-star skills and five-star weak voice. As I said, it's always nice to have somebody like that in your team, and Tarat is perfect for that. As you can see, DRB there, he's so far up front sometimes that it just works brilliant for him. He is just so good. He works behind the scenes. He works in front of the scenes everywhere. And Welbeck, the Welbeck near-post finish, what I'm calling it, because the near-post finish with Welbeck works 
every time. If you're aiming at anywhere else, you've got a problem because Welbeck can just finish it at the near post so many times. And his head is brilliant as well. There's no problem with that. Actually, I did kind of contradict myself there because Welbeck does a brilliant finish. And left foot, a weak foot, um, across the goalkeeper some, for some reason. And you see, Marin does a super touch there, but Welbeck comes and snaps it off him. Near post finish, top corner, eat that goalkeeper. And this team, like I said, is brilliant. And... Um, the wingers, I mean, or the right mids and left mids are brilliant. Pablo and Hoylet are no worries at all. They are just fantastic to shoot with sometimes, and they do cross it in brilliantly. And I find myself to be actually a pretty good cross. I can always seem to balance the cross perfectly. And you can see, well, but they're climbing high over his defence and just tucking that away. The teams I was coming across were difficult, um, definitely more, probably 50k teams at all times. And this is a 15k team at best, and it is just simply amazing for what you're getting. A 15k team, most of you guys, I think probably all of you guys, can get 15k pretty easily from playing a few games. And basically, just buy this team. Um, 4 5 1 BPL teams are the way to go this year, and these players are the underrated players this year in stat wise and, of course, main stat wise. See, well, but there. Yeah, <laughs> near post finish again and the Marion is the last goal you'll see and it is a brilliant goal actually in my opinion but we're coming to the end of the squad builders so if you did enjoy it and if you are going to build it please drop a like on the video it does help out a little bit and of course if you're new around here subscribe Hoyle up there get in a finesse I don't usually finesse it anymore but that was very nice by him and here's Marion on the last goal here we go what's he going to do what's he going to do I did always say anyway but roulette and goalkeeper gets easily beaten goal Marin is brilliant and I will see you all another time guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day